Hey guys, this is Simple Nerf. Sorry for not uploading sooner, but as you can see, I have gotten the Mega Centurion for my birthday, which is today, so I will be unboxing it. I already took the stuff out of the box, so the next segment will be the parts included. So included in the Centurion is the shell itself, which is the main blaster. The front barrel attachment, the priming rods, the instruction pamphlet, the bipod, and six mega darts and their mega clip. Alright, so here's what the Mega Centurion looks like with everything put in as you can see the bipod is standing up the front part is attached and it cannot be detached unless you mod it which i will probably do the clip is in uh priming rods are in and of course the super long draw which i don't really have a problem with all right next will be the range test Alright, so I just did the range test. Since I have technical problems putting my camera on, there is, wasn't really a way to attach it to the Centurion. So I just did shots. I did um, three shots level and then three shots on a 45 degree angle. There's angle shots. Uh, but I might have been holding my level shots a little bit lower. But regardless, let's see it. So just past the 25 foot mark. Here's the 50 foot mark and here's the darts. One of the darts went into my uh, shrubbery. So I'd say 55. Another one not far from it, 50, probably 60. And another one right here. These were all the level shots. So, almost there at the 75, so let's just call that, uh, 72. Now we get the next one, which is right here, just past 75. So that's maybe 78. And we keep walking. And we get our final dart, just past the 100 mark. So that was the best shot. And that was only five darts, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there's one dart right here by my mailbox. And it hit the mailbox, so um, the mailbox is about the 75 foot mark. So let's call that 75. And now there will be the final review. So what do I think of the Centurion? I believe it is purposely a good blaster, even though there's that ridiculous draw. I still personally like it. If you've heard comments like, oh, it's a horrible blaster, too much of a draw. Well, most of those have been from people who uh, do like competitive nerfing, I could say, where they wanted a logical gun, but this wasn't what they were hoping for. I can agree that the draw is a little bit too big, but even though the gun is overall big, it's pretty cool cosmetically. And also there's a simple mod you can do to the front barrel so that you can take these two pieces apart and then just have this as, as a detachable piece. So I would say, you know, it's, not a gun you would want to buy if you were going to have a nerf war, like a serious nerf war. But if it's more of a fun nerf war, then you should buy it. Or if you just feel like doing some modding, you can do some modding. Alright, until the next video, Simple Nerf out.